Ontario's financial watchdog came out with its first economic outlook since Doug Ford took office. And it didn't paint a very pretty picture. Ontario's budget deficit will more than triple this year to $12.3 billion. That number is $1.2 billion less than what the government projected during the fall economic statement. The FAO also says the government has found savings of just $1.4 billion, not the $3.2 billion it claims. It's a free country. They could claim whatever they want. <clears throat> that's their number, and, then, and that's how they've chosen it. Green Party leader Mike Schreiner thinks the government is artificially inflating the deficit to justify big cuts down the road. The government is playing political games with the province's books. They've clearly overstated the savings they found, and they've overstated the budget deficit. This is the exact same thing that they've criticized the previous government, playing political games with the books. Here we are, we're barely six months into a new government, and they're continuing to play the same kind of political games. Finance Minister Fideli releasing a statement that reads in part, quote, as we have always said, and as the financial accountability officer confirms, we have inherited a structural deficit from the previous government. In fact, the Liberals were spending $40 million more per day than what they took in. To balance the books without hiking taxes, the FAO says dramatic spending cuts are needed. If the government were to choose to balance the budget over four years, exclusively through spending restraint, the FAO estimates that the province would need to limit the growth in program spending to 1.2% this year. The NDP worry it's going to mean job cuts. It has to be on the backs of Ontarians. And, and so I think what people are concerned about is these, these cuts to get to that balance uh, will not only include jobs, but it will include cuts to things that, that people rely on, you know, like our health care, our education systems. If nothing is done, the FAO report finds the deficit will hit $16 billion by the year 2022. Richard Southern City News.